Hi there, my name is Yuri. I'm a pre-sales engineer at Landsweaver and today I will be bringing you to a small introduction, a small demonstration of operational technology and Landsweaver. So why is it important to look into OT? Most of you might be focused on the IT side of things, but if you are working in the manufacturing space or there are operational technology pieces within your organization, they are more and more joined together, converged uh, with each other between IT and OT. Uh, they're no longer fully air gapped in a lot of cases they are actually being used in tandem and can be potentially open to the world now i will show you as a first step how and where to find the installer uh, that's the first step always and then i'll show you how to set it up and continue from there so if you have a lens sweeper site you're on the dashboard usually you can actually find the installer under the configuration tab where all your installations live maybe you have already an IT installation in place all good but then you can download the installer pack itself right here the OT network discovery piece just click on it and you can install it from here let's dive into how to set it up when you have installed it then you'll get or you also agree with the dashboard locally itself but then you also want to maybe ensure how to scan it the scan targets can be found here straight away there can be a lot of them already that you can add yourself if you want to but by default it will find where it's installed like the IT installer it will send out an ERP request to know what are the MAC addresses then we know of course the vendors as well and based on those vendors we will actively scan them with their own propriety protocols Besides that, you can actually create your own target. Let's quickly do this. You can fill in an IP address and you can even fill in a subnet range like this. As a test range, all good. By default, it will use any schedule you would like. You can do it daily at midnight maybe, but you can also set it up to advance to include which protocols you want to use exactly. By default, it will try all the protocols that we have listed also on our website, or you can select the one that you actually need. And from there, we can actually start scanning it. If continuing from here, scan has happened. Let's say we have data. You can see the OT assets here as well. You'll be limited to 10 assets to see here because the idea is to actually link this towards either an on-prem installation or a cloud installation. You have to choose. It's either on-prem or cloud. You, of course, recommend to use a cloud piece because then we have a bit of additional uh, place or pieces in mind there. Going from here, We'll jump into a cloud site and how will it look like in the end. We have a cloud site with 338 OT assets. When you set up an OT installation in the cloud, you will get a dedicated OT dashboard as well. Very high level, which manufacturers have been found, which models have been found, which protocols are used and even which components are coming in most. But from here we can dive a lot deeper. Moving from the OT overview, we can also dive into the inventory straight away. And we can click on inventory, where you have the mix of IT and OT together, also one of the strong points of Landsweeper, of course. We can then scroll down a bit and we see something with an OT asset type, that's great. I know this one is interesting, we have a small OT related modules icon, let's click on that and you can see that it's part of a bigger hole. And you see this one is part of this specific uh, PLC controller, so let's dive into the main one to get a bit of a view. It's a fully scanned Rockwell device. In this case, you can also see it's scanned through the Ethernet IP protocol from a certain installation. Now, what do we get? IP address, MAC address, of course, but also which model it actually is, which serial number it has, but don't forget also the firmware, very important, and also what type of uh, module we're talking about itself. If I scroll down a bit, we also even enrich this information lifecycle wise like we do with IT also for OT. Now from here we can now also see how is this OT asset module working in conjunction with other modules actually. Now we have a bus config. The bus config actually shows what is all connected nicely. We see the modules itself that are connected towards it. Being it, in this case, we're looking at the controller, of course, but then we have a communications device. We have an IO module, so an input or output module. 
Um, and there are also the one I selected out of the list itself. It's an interesting one, it's a communications type. You see a small plus three, let's click on it. And then you see there are other things connected towards it. We see an input module, a cam name, so presumably some kind of camera within, um, and also a other input module. It's of interest, of course, to dive into any kind of risk insights that we might be able to give you. And like we do with the IT side of things. Let's go to the risk insights. I have the risk insights here. The risk insights give you a view across your whole IT and OT estate. Everything is brought together. Luckily, you can filter it down nicely to the OT sites. I've created a custom view specifically for these OT vulnerabilities and where we can see all the related uh, vulnerabilities found for our OT estate. And as you can see on the right hand side more, we see different vendors come in. Uh, have devices from Schneider Electric, Omron, Phoenix, Rockwell, Omron, Siemens, you name it, they're all here. Sometimes tied to multiple products that are found even as well. And for the rest of it, it is like it is before you get information from NIST. We have the description, you'll get information about it, of course. For some, we also have patch information available whenever it is. We'll try to give this to you. And last but not least, which assets you might want to tackle away. Now, these are the risk insights itself. We also built some internal reports for OT. For this to find this, actually go to reports, go to the hardware section, and then we have a specific section for, or subsection for OT. Shows all the kind of OT reports we have available around all the modules, main modules, or all modules, so also all the cards uh, detected on different protocols uh, for specific uh, manufacturers. And of course, you can create as many reports yourself as you would like. And having these reports in mind, this can maybe help you in the end to set up integrations. Uh, we can, if you want to make it a bit more alive, you can, of course, if you look into our marketplace, we have integrations with the likes of Power BI uh, to make it really popping and alive. You can also connect to CMDB tools to populate your OT infrastructure into the CMDB. Um, you can use security tooling as well. And of course, as always, it is fueled by an open API in the back end, so you can go as crazy as you would love to go. This was OT in a nutshell. Please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, you will be having our contact details available and you can download it. You can try it out straight away. Just have fun with it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate.